Hi, this is an introductory project in Autodesk Inventor uh, designed to show you how to make some simple um, parts and then assemblies. Um, and it uh, involves making uh, a Cubicraft character. Cubicraft is a paper craft um, design uh, created by Christopher Beaumont. If you go to cubicraft.com, you'll see a lot of about Cubicraft characters and a lot of um, designs that you can uh, download and print out and they're really easy to assemble. Um, if you Google search for images QBCraft you'll see lots of different designs that you can find as well. And on QBCraft.com there's a template uh, where you can uh, download uh, the basic uh, plain template and then you can design your own if you like. Um, I suggest for starting out on this project the best way is to actually uh, download and print out and cut it, cut out and assemble your own cubic craft to start. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones out here. Start with start with one that's uh, the most basic shape. Um, you'll see when you look at different ones, some have different um, different shapes, different modifications to it. But just start out with the one that follows the template, um, and that way you can use that one that you uh, create as your base basic as your reference for modeling your parts in Inventor. So once you have a Cubicraft all created, you can start making up the parts. It's really quite straightforward because it's just one part for the head, one part for the torso, one part for the legs, and then and they, uh, two of the same part for the arms. And they're all just uh, rectangular prisms. So they're very uh, straightforward and simple to make. In Inventor, you're going to start by making a project. I have a product already created called Cubicraft. And I'm going to make a new part in that project. I'm going to be using the standard .ipt template, which is an inch template, and I'm going to create a part. And for this part, I'm going to start by making a box that's going to be the head of the cubic craft. So I'll start by measuring the head. It is two inches wide. It is one and three-eighths inches tall and it is also two inches deep. So to make that part, I'll create a 2D sketch on the XZ plane, which is the floor plane. I'll create a rectangle that is two inches by two inches. And then I will extrude that up one and three eighths. So I'll type in the extrusion one space three slash eight. <clears throat> that is all I need for the head right now. I'm just going to make the, the box for the head. So I'll save that file. I will call it head. Called it head two here because I've already made a couple other ones um, and as I was practicing. Uh, and that's the head. The other parts work exactly the same way. Um, you're going to measure the size you need for the other parts, including the feet and the arms. Um, and for my purposes here, I'm just going to make them solid shapes, even though the feet is just a cutout rectangle. Uh, and in the next video, you'll see how to assemble your cubic craft.